So what comes to your mind when you first think of Mykonos? I'm sure it's parties. And obviously that it's super expensive. You're not wrong, but this most stylish of Greek islands has all this and more. So for days when you don't want to go out and party, I'll show you a classic cycladic village that has beautiful narrow alleyways, whitewashed houses, colorful doors, boutique and designer shopping, tons of restaurants and bars, and an endless Instagram worthy photo spots. All this in the main town of Mykonos, Hora. You literally feel like you're transported to a magical place in the world and everywhere you look at, it screams Greece to you. So let's get lost in all the twists and turns at the cutest place I've ever been to. And we're starting our day here at Mykonos town. I was so excited to come here. Look at this place, all these whitewashed buildings. There are also houses here with colorful doors. I'm already mesmerized looking at all these places. This is so cute. Wow, they have really cute boutique stores now. And I love the dresses. This town is so cute. Look at all these colorful shops and all these alleys here. So while there are plenty of kichi souvenir shops to get a t-shirt or a postcard, many of the streets are lined with luxury shopping from top international brands as well as Greek designers. What would a luxury town be without a Louis Vuitton, right? The village is so lively with tons of art galleries and stores where you'll find everything from clothes, jewelry, shoes, you name it. But mind you, shopping here is a high-end affair and you'll be blown away seeing the price tags. So definitely get your credit card. And they have really good stuff. There's also Sephora here and look how cute this is. Even the ATMs look so cute. <laughs> You'll also see cats all over the town, all over the island actually. They look so cute. This one is sleeping. I have never seen anything like this guys. This is truly a magical place. Now we actually feel that we are in Mykonos. During the day it's all quiet. It's a good time to explore, take some pictures and go to the restaurants but in the evening this becomes a party place again everywhere you go is an instagram spot literally every alley that i enter i ask her aunt can you please click my picture it's so aesthetically pleasing everywhere even the stores inside wow and for lunch we are going to this place called pepper for some sublaki or maybe a gyro we'll see what they have let's go <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Everything looks so delicious and very authentic. So we ordered chicken soblaki along with tzatziki and some pita bread and this dip looks so fresh. Wow. Mm, this is so good. The best part is that pita is so soft. I've never had a pita bread like this before. And this tzatziki. Wow, this is on another level. Mm, I think I'll have to order another one. This is too small and this is too good. And this is exactly what I needed. Loving it. So Pepper is a family-run restaurant set in the narrow, picturesque streets of Mykonos town. There are just a few tables in a quaint alleyway. So while you enjoy your meal, at the same time, you can stare at the lovely view of the cycladic atmosphere. So don't dare to miss it. If you're in Mykonos, definitely take a chance at Pepper. And then we decided to head to the old port which is just a short walk away from the main town square. So there's also a port at Mykonos town so if you want to go to any beaches you can definitely take a sea bus from here and I'm sure that's going to be a good ferry ride with this amazing view right here. Also getting around in Mykonos is crazy as there are only 31 taxis on the entire island. Crazy right? It is a lottery to get a taxi here but if you don't win it you can either rent a car or an ATV or get expensive private transfers. I'm talking Range Rover Mercedes here. Also actually there are also buses. So if you have time you can definitely take a bus and can you imagine how much we paid for this trip? 360 to go to the Mykonos town which is amazing and if we would have got any private transfer it was 35 euros so 35 euros or 360 euros the choice is yours
So this is actually the main bus station which is called Fabrica in Mykonos town. From here buses run to most beaches every 30 minutes. Also it's pretty cheap to get around. So there are a lot of restaurants along the port as well. And if you want to sit outdoors with this amazing view right here, you can definitely come here as well. So Mykonos town is full of fancy restaurants but sometimes all you crave is a huge gyro overflowing its pita bread with tzatziki, tomato, onions and nicely grilled lamb or chicken souvlaki. So another spot we tried in Mykonos for gyro was Saki's. This lively joint was full every time I passed by this place and I had to try it. This restaurant is so busy like even at 12 all the tables are full so this is a massive view. And I can say it was really yum. So either you're looking for a decent priced meal or free and first clubbing munchies, come here as it's open around the clock. Also, if you need a coffee break, you have tons of cafes around where you can grab a coffee and aimlessly wander in these narrow, picturesque alleyways. And all the coffee places I went to in Greece, they serve some amazing coffee. So strong, just the way I like it. Cute little kids and kittens. These are houses of the locals. Wow, I wish I had a home here. So the next spot is the iconic windmills of Mykonos. Windmills is definitely one of the defining features of Mykonos, which are spread out around the island, but the biggest ones overlook the main town. So there are six of them in a row, making a perfect photo spot. You should come here for a sunset because Little Venice is just right opposite me. Little Venice has spectacular sunset. Also, fun fact, the Venetians built them in the 16th century to mill flour since Mykonos is blessed with strong winds which you will experience right when you step your foot here. And now, the next spot is Little Venice which is also part of Mykonos town where we are going to enjoy the sunset and I'm sure it's going to be super amazing. So Little Venice is a row of fishing houses that have been converted into restaurant and bars. They all have open patios with chairs overlooking the sea which frequently splashes up water towards the sea which is so cool. And this is a very charming place here in Mykonos town where all of the bars are just lined up and they have the view of the seashore there and you get amazing sunsets from here. So definitely reserve a place here in advance because it gets really busy. I remember when we were doing the research, I saw all these bars. Wow. There's another one, Simeli, and the one that we are going to is Negrita. I was super excited for this place, and now we are here pinch me because the view from this place, the sunset is going to be amazing. Breaks my heart. Negrita is a really popular seafront bar in Little Venice and here reservation is highly recommended since the patio gets booked up pretty fast. I reserved it two months ago so you can well imagine. That's not good. <laughs> it's such a cute little relaxing place right besides the water. I can't wait for the sunset to happen. This bar has it all. Good music, best crowd, fantastic drinks, amazing vibe and a phenomenal sea view. You can literally sit in those cobblestone pathways for an eternity and still not get bored at all. It's actually pretty quiet around 7pm but when the sunset happens, it gets super crowded. And of course, the sunset was spectacular. The sky was lit up into beams of gold, orange and red with a cool breeze blowing in from the sea. It was breathtaking. Also, the bar grew so busy after that and the music bumped so loud that you couldn't really speak, but we had a great time. Nice. Thank you. This is the strongest cocktail they have called Zombie. Mm, but it's really good. 
Also, it's only cocktails, no food, and they only give you a two hour window at the table, and there's a minimum spent. So, come here, have a few drinks, watch the sunset, and go to dinner elsewhere like us. So when life gives you sunsets, head over to Negrita for mean sundowners, arguably one of the best sunset views on the island. And as the night goes on, it turns more clubby. So by the time we left, there was a line outside the door. It turns into a fun club later, but it's pretty small inside, but definitely a vibe. So if you want to dance to some good music, come after 10 p.m. We have huge plans for the night, but before that, we want to grab some dinner. So, we're just looking for places here in Mykonos town. Let's see if we find something. So, if you actually want to get to any restaurant, you need reservations for it. We actually had one for Interni, the restaurant that we went to, but we missed it because we were partying like crazy last night. So, today we are like, we don't know where to go. We'll just try our luck. So in the evening, this place has a special vibe as all the people head down to this lively town from the beach as there are lots of bars and nightclubs with parties lasting until late in the following morning, which you'll see in the next video. And even the stores stay open until late at night. So I definitely recommend going to the town during the day as well as the night. The last resort would be to get a euro. And I don't mind that actually. The night is definitely not young for them, but just for us. We got the place! We are at Mama Luca for some Greek food. Let's see how it is. So we came in with no reservation and they were able to seat us for dinner which was great. The cocktails were just okay but the atmosphere and decor of the restaurant were amazing. It was set in a dreamy courtyard with vines, gorgeous lighting, DJ playing chill out music, so much beautiful nature inside the restaurant itself. Wow, this looks good. The food was also very good. We tried traditional Greek moustaka which is made of eggplant and minced meat. Also we had mini gyros which were mouth watering and oh also so lucky. Love it. We just walked into this restaurant and glad we did. I think the food everywhere is like amazing. It's so good. Now we're going back. No, but we're going home. We'll change, we'll relax and then the night will actually begin then. This was just an appetizer for today. What's the time? Right now it's like 12. Main course will be at like 2 a.m. And now we are back, but we are not sleeping. Because we are going to come off the Altiso and I'm all ready. And we are going for clubbing. Afrojack is coming. Very popular DJ, I'm sure you know it. I don't even remember when was the last time I actually went full on clubbing. But we are in Mykonos, so we have to. So the tough place to party in Mykonos and the one that put the island on the map is Cabo Paradiso. It's an open air club on a cliff but I only recommend this club if there's a world famous DJ that is going to play that night. Like for us, we happen to see Afrojack and can you guess what time did he enter the stage? At 2 a.m. Yes, the big DJs come late so it's better to go as late as possible to this club and it was a night I'll always remember. There were fireworks, great music and we stayed till the sunrise. Yes, we saw sunrise right from the club as it's located at the edge of a high cliff overlooking the deep blue waters of the Aegean Sea. The view in the morning was just stunning. Ah, oh, don't even make me remember the next day after all this. But we still continue to party because hey, we are in Mykonos. The Greek party island, so why not? In the next video, I'll share all the best party places in Mykonos, so stay tuned. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this cute little Mykonos town. 
If you did, please do subscribe to this channel, like this video, and also let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite spot in Mykonos town. I can't wait to hear from you. Until then, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> At seven thirty in the morning, we're coming back. This is what Mykonos is all about. You have to forget everything else in our life and just party. In the morning. <laughs>